Confirmation hearings resume today for more of President-elect Donald Trump's cabinet nominees. And more than 30 members of Congress now say they'll skip Trump's inauguration Friday amid an ongoing feud between him and Congressman John Lewis. CBS 13's Henna Daniels has more. Just days before the inauguration, President-elect Donald Trump's rift with Democratic Congressman John Lewis is far from resolved. Why use the word illegitimate to describe Donald Trump as our president? That's just false. We would welcome a call from Congressman Lewis as well. Tensions escalated after Mr. Trump lashed out at the civil rights hero for calling his presidency illegitimate, prompting many House Democrats to boycott Friday's event. When you look at the fact that uh, Nothing has changed since the campaign. You know, I don't think that's something that I need to do in terms of celebrating. The president's elect sought to mend relations with the African American community yesterday by meeting with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s son. He said that, that he is going to represent Americans. He said that over and over again. Representative Lewis marked the national holiday honoring Dr. King without mentioning Mr. Trump. When you see something that is not right, not fair, not just, you have a moral obligation to do something, to say something, and not be quiet. More of the president-elect's cabinet nominees are set to be grilled on Capitol Hill today, including Education Secretary Pick and billionaire Betsy DeVos, and Interior Secretary nominee Ryan Zinke, who questioned the effects of climate change in 2014. Mr. Trump's transition team says Americans can expect a powerful and concise inaugural address. And Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he will be pushing to confirm several of Trump's cabinet picks shortly after Trump is officially sworn in as the nation's 45th president. California Congressman Ami Berra will be attending Mr. Trump's inauguration, but he says it is out of respect for the office and not to support Trump. Berra releasing this statement, which reads in part, Friday is about the continued constitutional, peaceful transfer of power that is one of the proudest attributes of being an American. My attendance is in no way an endorsement or a celebration of Mr. Trump's recent rhetoric. Crews in Washington, D.C. are setting up